No, not really. The uh, <coughs> pardon me, I've said all along to the uh, player group. We don't one, we don't make the rules. Two is the end of round twenty three. You're in or you're not. The siren goes, and when the siren went, when you were in. Uh, that's a good question, but is it? I guess. Um, well, 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 for a start off, the coach, how much bearing does he have on match day? The, supply, the players run down the race. They're, they're the troops. They're the ones that have got to control the emotions at the end of the... As soon as it starts. I think the lead-up is one that can be semi-controlled by a coach that's been around in finals for, for you know several years. Uh, we've been blessed. We've got uh, Rob Wiley, who's played and coached plenty. Gavin Brown. Uh, John Barker. Um, you know... Greeny's just on board, but he's played finals football. So, I, I think um, I think to have the uh, and Matthew Capuano has played in two premierships, so you know we've got a lot of experience. But that only counts up until game day, and then the boys run down the race. So, I, I suspect that when the siren goes, all the preliminary stuff that you've done, as long as it's retained, it has some bearing. But if the opposition come at you hard and then it's the, the game gets involved, then sometimes it's not a matter of, is it a final? It's a, it's a game that you've got to win. So it counts for a little bit, probably up to match day. How are we lucky to be there? Yeah, Matt, the games that you won finished ninth and then... Oh, we've won enough games to win. We've won, we've won enough games to play in the final, so I can't see what's wrong with it. So you deserve to be there, absolutely. And, and we'll be you say you deserve to be there? Well, why don't we? Is it what we are we supposed to hand it back to someone? Who, who's supposed to have it? Do you, do you think? If we're not supposed to be there, who who would should have it? Do you think? Well, why ask the question? I'm obviously, just given the circumstances, with SNS. Well, but no, what I'm saying is, I'll, I'll ask the question. If you're saying that, do we deserve to be there? Is there someone else that's more deserving to be there? No, no, I wasn't asking that. I was just asking, do you think you deserve to be there? And obviously. Well, it certainly stiffens, stiffens you up. It makes you a little bit more aware of what's required. I, I, it was a mini-final played the previous week against Essendon. It was a mini-final again against Port. We played, uh, we kicked ourselves out of one and we uh, scrambled the other one. So it's, they're, they're great lead-ups. I, I think this, the, the fundamental thing is if you can get through those games unscathed injury-wise, um, and we've got a couple of players that are a bit sore, but by and large, most of our players got through. So to play two very, very hard games of football, it's a great lead-in. And, and we've got the added day break, so uh, all things being even. You know, there's a simple thing about finals. If you live in the same town, the only ones that disadvantage is Port, because they travel. But Richmond and Carlton playing at the MCG is, is not a disadvantage to either side. So finishing fifth or finishing eighth is even Stevens. That's just the way it works out. Well, anyone who's missed weeks, I say there'll be, there'll be absolutely no doubt the, player that pl run, the players that run down the race in a final series is, uh, is uh, what do I say, has been through the gorilla, has trained to play, and will be picked on, not name, will be picked through the medical staff for a start off, then what the player's done, and then the match committee. Are we confident? We're confident that he's trained pretty well last week. He trained again pretty well today. And by, I would suspect by Thursday, well, we've got to have it in by Thursday, uh, the medical staff will make a decision whether they're able to be picked, and then it's up to us to pick the player. Because if we have too many players like that, then you've got to be careful. If we, uh, you don't carry injured players in the finals. And I, I would say that any one of those players, and I'm talking here about Scotland, um, uh, Brock McLean and he, they're, they're old enough, they've been around long enough to know that they can't play a game of football and pull a side down because they can't get through. So they're all great kids, they understand that they've been busting their boiler on the training track and in the medical room to get right and it'll be up to us to pick them if they're right. No, it's almost the same, it's the same, same story. If, if they can get through training and we believe they can take the fatigue factor. Finals football, it doesn't take prisoners. You've just got to make sure that the players you pick are ready to play 120 minutes of football or 100 minutes of football, whatever way you look at it. And at that, 
at that level where the intensity lifts again. And we've played many finals. That's their mini finals to make the eight. What we're doing now is we're playing for our lives because when you're in elimination final, there's no next day. So you play to win and you play the side that's going to get you over the line. Uh, I think our last, our last three weeks of football have been pretty good. Um, yeah, the, the, the weekend's game against Port, I think, you know, gives us good confidence going into this week's game. Um, yeah, from being, being down from where we were at uh, three-quarter time, um, showed a lot of character from the group. So uh, they're a really good side, Port Adelaide, and I think um, yeah, that gives us confidence going into this week. Uh, oh, you got to look at the game and, and look at what we did well and um, what we can improve on. Um, yeah, we can't afford to give them a start the way we did last time. Um, but yeah, they're, as Mick said, they're a very good side, so um, be a great test for us. Oh, not really. Does it also emphasise the fact that you just got to take these opportunities when they come up? I guess everyone thought after a couple of years ago, Carlton was moving up, might be a top four side. It didn't happen last year. So just to emphasise, no matter how you get there, you've got to take your chance. Yeah, we're, we're in, the, in the eight now and we're playing off for a chance to go, go forward. Um, so as Mick said, it's 5v8. Um, by the Victorian club, so it's a, it's a great test for us, and um, yeah, we don't consider ourselves lucky at all. Yeah, I was uh, I was pretty quiet in the first half, um, just like a lot of the other blokes, probably in our side. So um, I think the way we fought back, a lot of a lot of good individual efforts, a lot of good team team acts, um, it gives us good confidence going into this week. We've actually won more games than Port in the last 15 games. All right. There's a side that finished above us. So By winning on the weekend, we won our eighth. They've, they've won seven. Sort of throw that in because no one asked it. <laughs>